Greetings everyone and welcome back to the bench. Well, I was about to work on my next amplifier video and this popped up. I have another LED bulb that doesn't work anymore for teardown. So this is a little 4 watt MR16 style. And it's really small, it works on 12 volts AC or DC. I really like these things. Got them at Walmart about a year ago. Went back and got another pack of them. I liked them so much. Just to hoard them because, you know, they usually uh, stop carrying something that's real good and you can't find them anymore. $2.88 for a pack of three. Don't know how they do that. But I used this for about a year. You know, it has a decent amount of hours on it. Whenever I'm at home, the thing's turned on. So it has some hours on it. And I uh, have another one here. You can see it in operation. <laughs> and they're pretty nice. I wish they'd come in uh, neutral white color temperature. That would be really good. But what happened was, I was looking for something underneath the table. And I stood up and was reaching for something near the light. Or, I don't remember if I was grabbing the light itself or something nearby and when my finger brushed close to the light there was a static discharge and at that moment the LED went dim and then they went out and in the center I saw like an orange glow for a moment then that went out so something got really hot I don't know if it was the LED or not and after that I could smell the acrid smoke of burned up electronics so, a static discharge damaged this light, or pretty much ruined it. So, I want to see if I can get in this thing and, you know, see what happened there. Especially, what, what was that glowing, you know, that whatever it was, it got really hot and bright. It was glowing, it was incandescing. Okay, not really obvious how to get in, but... Usually you can pry the uh, lens off here. It's a little tab. I don't know if I can do this through the viewfinder or not. I might have to do a one moment please and come back. Yep, might be a one moment please. Oh, never mind. Okay. Now we're in. Now the LEDs, I don't see any burn marks. But there are some screws there. I'll have to take those out. Maybe uh, cut those wires and get down to the driver. Okay, got the little LED board out of there. And, uh... I don't see any damage. They appear to be in good shape. So let's see here. Put the meter in 15 volt diode mode. Let's see if I can get it in the shot a little bit. Let's see if I can test these. Yep, that's good. There's two little LED chips in each package there. I must have it backwards. Good. 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 Did I do this one? I think I did. This is when I started on, I think. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so the LEDs weren't bothered by the static discharge event. But uh, this is where the carnage happened. You can see a little skid mark in there. You pull that out. It's a little driver board. And look at that chip right there. 
that thing burned up. So that must have been that orange light I saw. It came through the hole here. The light shined through that hole in the middle. So that's what I was seeing. That thing got really hot. So the static discharge destroyed this driver chip. Probably shorted the uh, output transistor MOSFET, whatever they're using. Usually a MOSFET. And, yep, pretty much rendered it useless. So this is a little booster circuit. Takes the 12 volts, rectifies it, and uh, boosts it up using a, a coil here. Switches into that coil, which when the field collapses, it makes a higher voltage pop pulse which is rectified filtered with the cap and sent on to the LEDs so yeah kind of disappointing though uh, having a product damaged by electrostatic discharge so there you go an LED bulb killed by static electricity when they designed these things Hopefully they take in consideration uh, accidental electrostatic event, which could damage it. And usually with those integrated circuit chips, each pin will have a diode which shunts away static discharge, a kind of a Zener diode on each pin. But you can only do so much. Now to test for ESD, electrostatic discharge susceptibility, they run a bunch of different tests they use different models such as the human body model and that might make a good subject for another video but whenever you design a product you have to take in consideration it's likely to have to deal with electrostatic discharge which seemed to happen in this case that'll do it for this one thanks for watching